York, as you know, there's a powerful mystery surrounding these seeds. You've seen them at those other murders that took place elsewhere. And you've seen them deeply involved with the murders in this town as well. <laughs> That's right. But how do you know all this? be younger than you look. Youngsters tend to hurry so much that they let things slip right past them. What you need to do is slow this down a bit. That way you'll see what's really important. Let me tell you a story. Fifty years ago, when the war was over, Legend of the Raincoat Killer? Stop playing games with me, Harry. That's nothing more than folklore. The FBI has no such record of a multiple homicide case in this town. York, Anna, Becky, and now Diane. Their deaths are real, not folklore, not legend. records about it, then how do you know it really happened? Good question, York. Why would I know this? The answer is very simple. I was there. I saw it with my own eyes. The brutal killer himself. But we can talk about the details of that encounter another time. We need to talk about is your raincoat killer. The new raincoat killer, if you will. The new raincoat killer. Yes, let's call him that. After all, he's not the real one. What you want to know more about is the new one. Between ten and So you're saying that the series of cases I've been following are all linked to this town. That's interesting, Harry. But there's no evidence to support that story. None of the criminals we caught for the other murders ever mentioned anything like that. It's you. 
your job. a look, and we may as well let the old man have his fun. Documents from a case that happened 50 years ago. Let's play along with the old man for a little longer, shall we? Zack, that means we need to head for the sheriff's department. <laughs> 